Hi, I'm here to give you your tarot reading for July 2020. Yeah. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and give you two tarot readings. Uh, the first tarot reading, I'm going to be using the Philly Tarot deck. And the second reading is going to be with the Infinite Tarot deck. I will also be using an Oracle reading and a Body Positive Affirmation reading as well. Uh, so please note that this is a general collective tarot reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody, of course. So please make sure you check your sun, moon, and ascending sign. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when I'm going live and dropping content. Make sure you comment down below if the reading resonates with you. You like what the hell is coming out of my mouth. You like the deck, whatever. Make sure you do it because I know you have an opinion on everything, Capricorn. And uh, if you'd like to book a personal tarot reading, in the description box below is a link to my Instagram channel. You can check out my pricing and you can DM me directly to book a tarot reading. So when I did a pre-shuffle for you, um, it feels like you are kind of like under the gun or it feels like, uh, it kind of feels like you're sweating like a paw in a church on Sunday, right? Um, I kind of got that vibe. It also feels like you are trying to make a decision on whether if you are trying to keep ties with like a relationship with somebody, somebody that you've known for a very long time, like they're maybe considered family. Um, you may be trying to make a decision on whether if you want to go ahead and still keep that relationship. Uh, that was also the vibe that I got. So let's go ahead and start throwing cards down for the first reading for Capricorn for July 2020. Okay, so I have the Nine of Swords reverse. I also have the Knight of Wands. Okay, I also have the Knight of Cups here. Holy shit, dog. I have the Queen of Wands. Yes, Capricorn, yes. Okay, I also have the Seven of Pentacles reverse. I also have the Page of Swords reverse. Okay, those were a lot of cards that fell out. I'm not gonna take those because I know that you're better than that. You're not gonna want floor cards. I heard gross coming out of your mouth. Okay, so let me go ahead and get two more cards for Capricorn for July 2020. Okay, I have the Empress card reverse. And I have the seven of cups here. So the bottom of the deck, the overall vibe I have for you guys, it is going to be the page of pentacles here, which I really enjoy this energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So there's gonna be some great news that is gonna be coming your way. Uh, there are two pages here, so this is going to be about news. This is gonna be about like a social activity, sporting events, things of that nature. Um, I know with everything going on with the Roni, which is going on right now, uh, you, there may be some limited activity, but you may be hearing through the grapevine, social media, things of that nature. Uh, this may be a job offer. You may be moving, relocating. I am seeing for some, uh, this could be a pregnancy, adopting a child, adopting a fur baby also as well. I'm also seeing a gift money reward coming your way. Maybe some sort of inheritance. I'm also seeing a little bit of an apprenticeship that is happening here as well. So you may have gotten accepted to a college or a university or maybe some sort of internship. Okay. Um, and if it is for some internship or for like a college program, it is gonna be very fucking ruthless. I'm just gonna give you a heads up and this person is known for a bad reputation. Okay, I also see two knights here as well. So this is also a decision that you need to make. Now, this is maybe pertaining to friends. Some old friends, this could be friends that from a, your, you know, your college, your teens, uh, your college or university days, your high school friends, whatever the case would be, you do have ties with this individual. They may be considered family or sister to you. Now, for some, this could be pertaining to political views. Maybe their political views may be too extreme or they're just unreasonable, right? They're too off the deep end is also what I heard as well. I also see two sevens here. So this is also going to be about changes for you as well. So 
Starting off, we have the nine of swords reverse. This is a Gemini vibe. Of course, they always have to fuck up your shit up. So something has become a reality for you, okay? This is no longer a nightmare. It's reality for you. Um, now, you could also have been freaking out in your head. And now you're thinking the worst. You're expecting the worst, right? You're expecting the worst. But it's really a good offer because I have the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups right off the bat. Now you could be freaking the fuck out where you may be head over heels between two people over a fire sign or a water sign. It could be a Scorpio. It could also be a Leo or a Sagittarius as well. But I am seeing somebody, somebody is very, uh, very emotional and very touchy feely. Um, they show their affections. They like to woo you. They like to buy you gifts. And this other person is kind of like, let's go on an adventure. They're all about passion. They're all about leading with their libido, if you know what I mean. Uh, but there is somebody that is very passionate, that is very creative, very artistic. And they're very interested in you. And they may want to collaborate on a project. Or they may want to just collaborate with you, if you know what I mean, honey, right? So the Queen of Wands here, this is a uh, Leo Sag uh, Sagittarius. We'll go ahead and go with Aries as well. This is somebody that is very strong and confident. Now, this individual, or more than one individual, they want to put a ring on you they want to make some sort of romantic offer. Now, if you are currently in a relationship, your partner is going to be overly affectionate and they're going to be overly sexual and they look at you as like their prize queen. Like some, there's a lot of competition. What I'm also seeing here with Capricorn with you, they're seeing, they see you as they want to put a ring and wipe that bitch. They see you as a very, like somebody that has their shit together and that is very sexy, but very like aloof. You're like a creature unlike any other. Um, there's just something very captivating about you. And these people just, they just want to be around you and they want to be only with you. So you have a lot of offers and opportunities here for you. So the first seven here is the seven of Pentacles reverse. It feels like somebody wants to rush something. You don't want to slowly so if there's like more than one person that's interested in you like you just want to rush into like just picking one person and picking relationship and that's not what you want to do you know you kind of want to date these people to kind of get the feel for them to kind of see whether if you guys are really compatible you know whether if there is really chemistry you know because everything is so surface at first but once you start you know hanging out the more that you know, they start letting their guard down. You got to start to see who people, what they really are. And you may be trying to force or rush the process. Let, don't try to jump into a relationship immediately. You know, if you're single, just enjoy being wooed. You know, just enjoy the fact. Just, it's nice. It's fucking nice. I'm not going to lie. It's nice. It's nice when there's competition and, you know, there's somebody that wants, you know, don't string people along, of course, but. You know, it's just nice just to know that you're wanted by more than one, you know, and you have options and choices and go you. Fuck yeah, Capricorn. Yes. Get your freak on. So we got the page of swords reversed. There's going to be some news that's going to be coming your way. So this is the second page here. Big news are coming your way. This is going to be a secret that's going to be revealed. Now, dirt, tea is going to be spilled over to you. This could be through social media. This could be lurking, doxing, finding out some information about someone. This is something that you don't like. Now, you may be forcing something and you may be blocking someone, all right? You may have to just unfollow, block them altogether off of social media, block their numbers. Now, the Empress card reversed. There's somebody that, it feels like you or somebody is avoiding working on person, like on working on themselves. Like, it feels like this person has a lot of, Somebody has some sort of low self-esteem issues because somebody is putting somebody up on a pedestal, but they don't feel like they're on that pedestal. Like they don't feel like they're sexy or attractive enough. 
And then I have the second seven here with the seven of cups here. And this is leaving you very confused, not sure what to do. Now, because you do have a lot of options and choices. Now, you may be questioning yourself because you're like, you may think that you're not attractive, yet you're like, I don't know why I have all these options and choices. It's kind of like Randall Graves screaming at Dante Hicks. Like, what is it with you? Like, every decade, there's two hot girls that are always fighting over you. Like, what the fuck is up with that shit? You know? Like, yeah, for real, Dante Hicks. Like, what the fuck is up with that shit? There's no way in hell that there'd be two chicks fighting over you. Just gonna point that out. So... If that reading resonated with you, make sure that you comment down below. I'm going to go ahead and use the infinite tarot now. So the first reading did not resonate with you. Hopefully the second one will. Beep, 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 beep. So I will be using the infinite tarot deck. And make sure you stick around as well. I will be using an oracle and a body positive affirmation reading as well. So this is going to be for my Capricorns for July 2020. So if the first reading did not resonate, hopefully the second one will. Let me go ahead. Ooh, I'm not going to take the card that's on the floor. Okay. So Capricorn, let me go ahead and start throwing cards down for you. Alrighty then, so I have completion reverse. There's some unresolved business that you need to deal with. You're almost done with it. I have the Hierophant reverse. This could be a relationship, a marriage. This could be going back to school, kind of like that. Uh... Oh God, I can't believe I'm blanking on that. Great comedian, like. Uh... Rodney Dangerfield? Rodney Dangerfield. I can't believe it's just got to feel like that. You know, like back to school and then there's like Sam, Sam Candison in it. Like, ah, ah, remember that? Sorry, sorry. I don't know why that came in my mind, but that came in my mind. Okay, I also have the tower card here for you. Let's go ahead and get some other things for you, Capricorn, for July 2020. Okay, so I have the moon card here. I have the Wheel of Fortune here, so this is amazing. So the bottom of the deck, the overall vibe I have for you is the wind, is window reverse, which is basically the ace. So this is about beginnings. Now, right now, you don't see that you have beginnings. And you may be wondering, where is my beginning? I You feel like you're stuck in limbo, and you're like, all right, well, I feel like I'm done with my shadow work. It feels like I'm done with this bullshit that I had to call the, my last decade because that last decade was a bunch of crap and if we're starting off 2020 the way we're starting it off now then whoo jesus muhammad easter bunny whatever take the wheel because this shit is tiring um the reason why you're waiting for your beginning and it's not happening yet is because there is some sort of unresolved issue that you're almost done with that you're not facing so this is the overall view. You're waiting for your beginning is not happening. And the reason why the holdup is on you, boo, right? The holdup is you. There's some unresolved business that needs to happen here. You're almost done with it. You need to complete it. The Hierophant card reverse. This could be finishing your divorce. This could be ending a relationship, a friendship. This could be dropping out of school. This is just not being able to see eye to eye with something. Now, this could be dealing with issues with a father figure. This is could be a boss. This could be a mentor, all right? And it feels like this person had power and they took advantage of you. It feels like they took advantage of you in some way. And it feels like there needs to be some sort of confrontation. Um, for some of you, there's like, it kind of like is a teen to a very young adult point in your life that you've had with this particular, I want to say it's a father figure, uh, that something happened that's traumatic that you need to go back and you need to have that conversation or that closure with that person. Now, the tower card here, this is Scorpio vibe. This is a spiritual awakening that's happening. And yeah resolving this issue it's gonna suck for a bit it's gonna feel like wow hit right in the kisser that's what's gonna feel like the spiritual awakenings are supposed to hurt a little bit it's kind of like uh like the godfather when you get the kiss the kiss of death 
it's kind of like that. You kind of have to get the kiss of death at first in order for you to have your transformation in your beginning. Now the moon card here, this is Pisces Cancer Vibe. There's a secret that's going to be revealed to you, okay? So there's going to be a secret that's going to be revealed that you have, um, you need to trust your instincts. Um, you're gonna have a lot of dreams and visions and you need to trust your gut. And if you feel like somebody's being disloyal, somebody's not being honest with you, and you're, tr you know, and you're questioning this person's loyalty and their faithfulness, then that's a red flag, okay? Um, cause it feels like this relationship needs to end cause there needs to have some sort of closure. The wheel of fortune here, because you're what you're waiting like, oh my God, what's the bad thing that's going to happen? The wheel of fortune here, amazing things are going to happen to you in the next three to six months. A lot of love and abundance and prosperity and joy and happiness is going to happen for you. Now it's not going to happen all at once, you know, like a porno. You know, like write your name on my face. It's not like gonna happen. You got there's got to be foreplay. You know, you gotta like bite on her ear. You know, and kiss her neck. And you know, you gotta do some oral work down there. So you gotta rub up the engines. Rub up the engines. Okay. So that's your guys's reading. Let me go ahead and give you your oracle and body positive affirmation readings. Okay. Okay, so let me go ahead and get some cards for you. So I got Watch Your Thoughts for your Oracle reading for Capricorn. I got Make a Wish. I got Empowerment. One more. And Ready, Set, Go. So Ready, Set, Go. Now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire empowerment you're more powerful than you realize it's safer for you to be powerful make a wish this is a magical moment make a wish and enjoy its manifestation yes and watch your thoughts is important not only what you desire not what you fear okay and let me go ahead and give you your body positive affirmation readings let me go ahead and get that for you okay all righty then so I have my brains, body, and soul are the fucking bomb diggity. Now, I am strong, I am grammed and I am fucking powerful. Now, I radiate my self-love like fucking sunshine. Now, I am going to have a warm beverage at today and fucking celebrate myself. And I'm a grown-ass human being. I do whatever the fuck I want. Alrighty then, so hopefully these readings resonated with you, Capricorn. If they did, please make sure that you comment down below. I love hearing your guys' feedback. Make sure you like, you subscribe, and you share this to people. Uh, and if you'd like to book a personal tarot reading in the description box below, it's a link to my Instagram channel. You can check out my pricing and you can DM me directly to book a tarot reading. Thank you guys. I love you guys very much. Please be safe, wash your damn hands, and nanu nanu.